Thanks. I'm so excited. Me too. <laughs> It's going to be so fun. <laughs> All righty. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi. Sunday. Thank you all for joining Facebook Live. We have some really exciting visitors with us today. I've just been chatting with them for the last 30 minutes, and I'm just, I wish I could chat with them every day for 30 minutes. So um, as you all know, and if you don't know, I'm Leslie Fierka, your host. Um, I've been with Kendra Scott for nine amazing years, um, and that's, yeah, that's me. So today I have some new, two new co-hosts with me today, and we're going to talk about, you know, the partnership between Kendra Scott and then ACM Lifting Lives. So first, um, my first guest is Taylor Wolf, and so I'm going to let Taylor introduce herself. Thanks for having us, Leslie. Um, yeah, like you said, I'm Taylor Wolf, and I work with ACM Lifting Lives. Um, I've been there a little over a year, and to say it's probably one of the most rewarding jobs I've ever had is mm -hmm. a huge statement. It's incredible to be a part of such an amazing organization. Wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, and we, we've been longtime partners with Kendra Scott, both through ACM Lifting Lives as well as with ACM Awards. So we love Kendra Scott, and we thank you guys for having us. This is awesome. Of course, I can't wait to deep dive into that later. <laughs> yeah. And then our second guest is Rachel Walmack. She is an RCA recording artist. So I'm gonna let Rachel take the stage. Hey y'all, how's it going? Um, oh, good. Thank y'all so much for having me, Leslie and Taylor. Um, I am a long time fan of Kendra Scott, actually, um, just about, every year since I was little, every woman in my family does those necklaces um, for, yes. for Christmas. And that's what we do. We pick out whatever Kendra Scott we want and it just kind of makes Christmas easy. Um, we love your birthday deals that you do. So yes, my husband's always gotten me Kendra Scott for my birthday. Um, but I just love y'all. You're always super fresh and really trendy and it goes with everything. Um, <laughs> and then I, I'm really thankful that you're here, Taylor. I'm excited to, um, just learn from you and, um, really grateful for everything y'all do with, uh, ACM Lifting Lives. So. Absolutely. Rachel, I love that your family picks out the special Elisa for every Christmas holiday. Yes, That's the our, yes. yes, the Elisa necklace. Um, I actually have the one of them on right now and I wear her every single day. It's She's so cute. A beautiful statement. And Rachel, I saw that you wore Kendra Scott. Um, in your wedding. I would, <laughs> what earrings, how did that come about? I know you've been fans, but tell me more about that. Yes, so um, like I said, a <laughs> long time fan, okay. and I planned on uh, buying just some special earrings, maybe a bracelet uh, for the big day, you know, depending on the dress, how you want to decor. Um, but then I found out that y'all have a color bar that you do um, for different groups. I don't know if it's specifically for bridesmaids or if it's just for different groups, but we used it as uh, for my bridals uh, oh. or for my bridesmaids. And um, it was so cool because you can kind of match. So, okay, a color bar, you know, you have several colors in right. Kendra. And um, so our color palette, um, for the bridesmaid dresses was just very neutral. Mm -hmm. And so we had three different colors that we did and all my bridesmaids uh, went to Huntsville, Alabama and picked out, um, you know, what shape, but kept it within the scheme and made it easy for everyone. And then that was my gift to my bridesmaids too. Oh, so nice. it was just really special. We had champagne. Um, <laughs> the store over there is super beautiful and it just, it made it a fun experience for us too um because i live in nashville now and so most of my bridesmaids live back in alabama and it was just really fun for us to do aside from bachelorette so <laughs> right <laughs> i i love that you had that color bar experience and then yeah. you know, 
just to share with our Facebook, you know, viewers, you know, you can book a color bar party, not just for a bridal, but, you know, it's a fun, interactive way to be able to share those special moments. If it's a bridal party or if it's a bachelorette party, sometimes those are also a destination for our color bar party. So love, love, love that. So thank you so much for sharing yeah, that with me. Of course. So what have y'all ladies been up to to stay sane during this time? I would love to know. Um, I'll just, I'll just go ahead. Um, Good. <laughs> so we, um, my lifestyle, I'm just used to like go, go, going, yes. um, very quick paced, traveling a lot. So this has been really different. Um, but in some ways, you know, there have been little blessings in, in the ways to slow down. Um, my husband and I go for walks every day. And I'm just telling you, even going for a walk without your phone, it's just like, it clears my mind and clears my head, especially with all this stressful, you know, just I feel like it's constant going on in your head. And um, taking a walk is a, just a good way to kind of chill out and be stress-free and my husband and I are like eight months of marriage in oh. and so it's been good to spend time at home together um working on our home um, and we also got a puppy so we adopted an animal so I would encourage anyone <laughs> to also adopt or foster I've heard of a lot of my friends are fostering uh, during this time but um those things have been good for us. That's wonderful. Yeah. And, and I've been chalk painting. Oh. Ooh. I took up, I've never done it before. Have y'all? No. Tell I've me. done it a time or two. It's fun. So fun. And let me tell you, a glass of wine <laughs> and just putting on some music and chalk painting, I just zen out and I feel like it's another way to just clear your head, to relax, and and just do something new. I've never done that before. That's incredible. I'm gonna have to look that up. And see <laughs> yeah, and you should. Music abilities. I love that. Yeah. And then Taylor, what about you? Yeah. So it's been a lot of change for us at ACM and ACM Lifting Lives. We obviously had to do some pivoting with the award show being rescheduled and. Um, pretty incredibly, we pulled together the Our Country special that aired um, a couple weeks back. And um, really with Lifting Lives specifically, just trying to refocus on the people that are needing it the most. And I know we'll talk a little bit more about that, but um, we were prepared for this to be a very busy season with the award show. And like I was telling you guys earlier, those are normally our longest hours. And those are still somehow the hours we're maintaining in this season to just make sure we're getting everything taken care of for all these people. But um, I too, Rachel adopted a dog, so that is yes. Like, yes. I, a little retriever. Um, so that's been like so great. I was hoping to see my family this month, and obviously, you know, travel is not an option. So while I can't be with them, I'm like, well, I'll just expand my family a little bit, and you know, have a, a little furry friend. Um, so yeah, spending time with her is probably my favorite way to decompress. And, mm -hmm. and like you said too, just turning off your phone for a bit. I mean, I think it's so. There's so many things on the news that are scary and depressing and just fills you with anxiety. There's also some really incredible content right now that's super right. uplifting and hopeful and really cool to see how people are coming together. But to me, sometimes the best is just to not have any of it, you know, just to soak up some sunshine or get some fresh air with the mask. And yeah, so it's, it's definitely an adjustment, but I think, you know, the community that we have, like both virtually, and just even to be able to do things like this and to get to talk to new people, it's, it keeps you sane, you know, it's the, the world is, we're all in it together. And I think that's how we'll, we'll get through this too. I've been Zooming a lot. <laughs> yes, a lot of Zoom. It's the best. A lot have of Have you guys gotten any like surprise Zooms where you thought it'd be like a face, like a, just a regular call and then they're FaceTiming and you're like, oh, um. <laughs> No, I haven't, but no, but I will look out. Oh, I've gotten a couple of those. Like, uh, you're like, oh, um, okay, let's, what can I do to look a little better real quick? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Um, I couldn't agree more. I have a golden retriever myself, and she keeps us oh. 
so busy. Um, she also makes guest appearances on my Zoom calls for work, which is always so sure. fun. Yes. Um, I just, I love that. And then, you know, you know, deprogramming most importantly, mm -hmm. I love that y'all are doing that. And I encourage everybody that is also watching to do that. But not at 6 p.m. on Sunday <laughs> at Central Time because our Sunday socials are alive and we need to talk content um, and get excited. So, Rachel, tell me about, you know, how your life has really been impacted by COVID-19, you know, yeah. tour dates, new music, you know, kind yeah. of talk me through, you know, your emotion to the impact of the new normal right now. Yeah. Um it's definitely been crazy. Like I said, um, I'm used to traveling a lot. Um, last spring looked a lot different, you know, from this spring. Um, and we had, you know, last summer I was really thankful. I got to go uh, open for Miss Reba McIntyre. Oh, wow. Dreamy. Um, and I, I had some dates with her, uh, in April and they thankfully they're just postponed and um, they're not canceled but um, you know I'm just home um, we had so the Reba dates are postponed and I also had um, hot country nights and they're incredible uh, too, you know, and hilarious and so um, those were postponed as well um, thankfully I still have some dates with Rascal Flats in August so I'm excited for that and fingers crossed all will be well by then. Um, but yeah, it's been a lot of writing for me. Um, it's really cool because as an artist, you know, you kind of have different seasons of, um, you tour for a while, you write for a while, you record for a while, then you tour again for a while. And sometimes it speeds up and then sometimes it slows down. Um, but I've, I've enjoyed this downtime because I feel like I have been writing well. And we actually write on Zoom like this. Oh, wow. Yeah. And you would think it's very difficult, which it can be, especially when, like, you have technical difficulties. Right. Uh, but if everyone is, like, showing up and, like, available there, um, I've gotten some really great songs. So that's kind of cool that um, – Zoom also, like, you know, as creatives, we can get, like, so excited and so passionate. You can do that cutting people off in conversation and, you know, you're just going back and forth. But with Zoom, you kind of have to work on, like, listening for the other person and then being more polite. <laughs> I'm learning that. Um, but I think that may be another reason that we're getting better songs is because we're really focused on listening to each other and um, making the most of the time. So that's been really cool. Um, also, once a week, I go live on Instagram and my Facebook page. And I just either, I kind of free, freestyle it. I'll either do covers or sometimes I do unreleased uh, songs that I've written and that's kind of cool for, I feel like for people to like, you know, showcase for them and see what they like. And um, it, you definitely feel a sense of community in the craziest way because everyone comments and mm -hmm. you, know, you can say, you know, give me thumbs up, thumbs down. Do you like this? Can yeah. you hear me? You know, um, there's still like some communication on more of a mass um, way, but um, yeah, that's been a really cool thing is getting to do live. And then I'll just like ask everyone questions like, where's your favorite place to shop? Can you Scott, you know, I don't know. Um, and it's, it's cool just connecting with fans because I, I love so much getting to tour and getting to meet different people um, and getting to travel, you know, to different parts of the world. And um, I'm excited for that again, but I'm, I'm thankful that we have technology and um, that we still get to, you know, connect in this type of way um, through the lives every Thursday, 4 p.m. Central Time. And um, the cool thing though about being an artist is, thank the Lord, um, you can release music without being in person. Right. 
You're so right. I actually have a song coming out this Friday and y'all are hearing it here first. Um, but I'm really, really, really excited about it. And it's a song that I feel like is perfect time to release right now. Um, yeah, so that's, I think it'll be really special um, for this time, so. Wow, thank you that so much. That was a lot. <laughs> oh, hey, that is great. I want to learn more, and I know all of our viewers want to learn more, you know, about you. And then it leads to, you know, talking to Taylor about, you know, ACM lifting lives. You know, Taylor, I don't want to spoil anything, so I want you to jump right in, you know, in the efforts that, you know, ACM yeah. lifting lives are doing for COVID-19. And what is your response? And just, you know, let's talk about it. Yeah. So AC Lifting Lives is the philanthropic arm of the Academy of Country Music. Um, so our mission is to improve lives through the power of music. And while much of the world has stopped, Rachel, like you said, music hasn't. And it's been really incredible to see how music has become such a healing tool for so many and remained a healing tool for so many. Um, but that being said, it, it's shifted a lot. You know, what we expected for the year, for the summer, for potentially the fall, you know, it's it looks a lot different than we would all have expected. And, and Rachel, like you said, your, your tours were canceled and obviously that's not what you're predicting and you're making the most out of it and really enjoying that time to write and spend time. And um, a lot of people are having to pivot. So when we took a look at our music community and you know, this country music family that we just so deeply love, and um, it's a nationwide community too, not even just the Nashville space or here in LA, um, but really, it's, it's not just the artists, it's the musicians, it's the audio engineers, it's the bus drivers, it's um, the ticket people that collected tickets at the door, it's the merch people. I mean, it's everybody. And um, there's a desperate need for a lot of those folks. So um, ACM Lifting Lives started the ACM Lifting Lives COVID-19 Response Fund, so we could respond directly to those individuals. Wow. Yeah, so we um, launched the fund about two weeks ago, maybe a little over two weeks at this point, and um, people were able to apply straight through our website, give us a description of what their history in country music looks like, and talk a little bit about what their um, what opportunities they've lost as a result of this pandemic. And um, with that, we had a committee that approved and looked at all of those, and we were able to, within days, get money to those people's doorsteps. So um, it's been an incredible experience. I mean, it's it's heartbreaking to read this, the applications and hear the stories of the people that their life has just been completely uprooted and they've, they've given their life to country music and they've given their life to the, being on the road and joining these, these virtual writing sessions is like a nice in between, but for some of them, they don't have those options. So um, they've given so much to us over the years and we felt this was one way we could give back. Um, that being said, there's, there's always more need than there is resource. So we're hoping too, between um, this partnership with Kendra Scott and other opportunities, whether it be with artists or other brands or just individual donors who are in a place that they can contribute. I mean, the more resource, the better, the more people that we can reach. So the, the need is still great. And um, we're hoping to continue to raise money so we can keep dis dispersing it as quickly as we can to those who need it. Yeah, Taylor, thank you for that. I, when we were talking earlier, you know, I just immediately thought, Nashville, you know, artists, like that's y'all who you were supporting, but to learn that you were supporting artists all across the globe. You mentioned Sweden. Yeah. Um, and I yeah. think that's such an incredible cause, you know, whether it be Texas or, you know, Delaware, wherever it may right. be, y'all are there to help save, you know, them as artists and, you know, not only them, but their team, their bus drivers, you know, I didn't yeah. even think about that. So learning more is absolutely, absolutely amazing. Yeah. Uh, and, and you think about country music and, you know, you can think of you, if you're not familiar with country, you think of a couple places, you know, those hot spots. And the, the more you really look at it, I mean, it's, it's a little bit of everywhere. And um, while the people that we're giving money to is, are, are, are all in the States, um, they've come from all around the world to be a part of this. And, Country music flourishes in other countries as well, but I mean, everyone identifies Nashville as a hot spot, and a lot of the people we are helping are in Nashville, and, totally. and it's not just the people that are on the road. I mean, it's the bars, it's the live music venues, I mean, it's all those things, and um, 
yeah, it, it just, it breaks your heart. And it's extremely rewarding work when you're able to approve somebody and get that money to them and then hear how it, it helps them and their kids or their spouse. Right. And it's devastating when, when someone doesn't meet criteria because, you know, whatever, for whatever reason, or when the funds run out, you know, it's, right. yeah, thankfully there's, there's a lot of organizations doing a lot of great work. And yeah, if, if people have the opportunity to donate, you know, the, whatever they're passionate about, whatever resource they want to give to, it's, it's not just the country music community that needs it, but th there's definitely a great need here too. Well, how can our viewers help support the amazing cause you're working for? Yeah, well, one way we can support it is through Kendra Scott's Give Back program. So thank you guys so much for partnering with us in this. So we have a Give Back code and we wrote it down so it's easy to read. Yes. Um, if you shop Kendra Scott for the next, um, through the 24th and, and use this code, Give Back 7175, 20% um, of that group will go directly into the fund, which then we can turn around and get directly out the door. Um, in addition, if you visit our website, acmliftinglives.org, there's other ways for you to, to donate directly there or get in touch with us um, if you're interested in a, a larger partnership or exploring an idea. You know, any fun fundraising ideas at this point in time, we're open to. I love that. Thank you so much for sharing. And um, on, during our Sunday socials, we love to, you know, talk about virtual Kendra Gives Back. And this Kendra Gives Back is supporting ACM Lifting Lives. Like, Taylor said, it's give back 7175 and don't forget at checkout to enter that promotion code. So 20% of the proceeds do go to ACM Lifting Lives. That's a very important, um, you know, thing to remember. We have a wonderful sale going on. It's 20% off all new um, spring jewels, which is great. Um, but don't forget to also enter that because 20% off will automatically be applied. So. Yes, and, and thank you guys so much for, for partnering with us. Yes. Thank you all. Yeah, absolutely. And I just want to say, Rachel and Taylor, thank you so much for joining me this evening. Um, I loved learning more and then just like getting to know Rachel, you as an artist. I cannot wait to um, have our viewers continue to stay on for you to play three songs. <laughs> I can't Thank wait. you. I was listening to um, your music when I was getting ready this morning, your covers, and I am so obsessed. I'm such a new fan. Thank love, you. Love it. And just thank you all for spending the time with me. Um, we have some amazing things going on on the web, but then we're also supporting ACM Lifting Live, which is driving causes that help artists such as Rachel and um, all of her friends. And um, so everybody stay on. And Rachel is going to um, start performing here in just a quick second. So thank you all so incredibly much.